I was in the middle of doing my makeup and I just thought, why don't I start filming? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a bit of a, a life update. going to show you some bits and bobs I got from PR and just a little chat really. So let me first start with pregnancy. So yes, we are 14 weeks pregnant now. It seems to be going really, really quick. It's actually frightening me how quick it's going. Uh, it's so strange, like, I don't know when people start buying things like Baby Bouncer, Cot, things like that, but I've been holding off for a while, but I feel like maybe next month I'm ready to start buying bits and pieces. Um, I'm getting excited, I'm getting really excited. Little update, I went for my, basically, if you know, when you have, I think, yeah, you have your 12 week scan, you have your 20 week scan, um, but because of my hypothyroidism, I have to have like more scans, like growth scans and regular scans, and a lot more regular things, I've got so much to tell you. And I went for a scan, it was so great, I get to see a baby, but he or she was not playing ball at all. Um, basically, what they needed to do, I opted to have the nuchal translucency scan, and it checks, for, it's really stressful, like, I've been stressing about this. Um, it checks for Down syndromes, things like that. It just makes sure that there's no abnormalities and it's stuff like that. Um, but what they need to do is they need to measure like the baby but the back of the baby's neck the fluid it's like I can't explain it like let me show you on my phone um, basically they need to measure that bit on the back of the baby's neck and my baby was <laughs> was face down with his legs in the air wouldn't move would not budge and I was getting really stressed out because the lady the sonographer said if your baby don't move anytime soon I'm not gonna be able to do this measurement and I I don't know about you guys but I really wanted this scan doing uh, is kind of like something I think about and I worry about and I don't know if it's weird because of my age and stuff but I just feel like I would like to know um, Anyway, <laughs> she got me to, basically she pulled the bed back, so I was like nearly upside down, wouldn't move. <sighs> she made me roll over both sides, wouldn't move. She made me get up, do star jumps, sing to the baby, flash a little tor torch on the baby, all sorts of things, and it wouldn't move at all. So we tried three times, we had three attempts, and he or she would not budge and I'm upset because I really wanted this doing for my reassurance I wanted to feel like I could go through this pregnancy knowing to a degree what what do you know what I mean like what's going on and I worry I'm, I'm a big warrior as it is so I wasn't chuffed that madam or mister wouldn't move um but anyway there's a heartbeat there's all of that good stuff so you know everything she said everything looks okay you know she can't tell for sure but everything looks okay um i'm sure if anything was serious then they'd pick it up but yeah i was i was pretty upset i'm just gonna find this concealer that i want to try with you guys okay in my Alex drawers I'm not sure I'm scared to go in these drawers because last time I went in my Alex drawers there was a bloody spider I need to start considering where I'm gonna put all this stuff that I'm getting sent because oh my god okay right continue so yeah we didn't get to do the measurements on the baby unfortunately it did not happen I just want to brighten up under my eyes we're not doing anything crazy today, we are just doing a simple 
something simple so I don't look too crazy. I don't even know why I put it there. I just want to brighten my face up a little bit. So, that is what happened. We did not have the scan done. Me and Liam kind of felt a little bit like, you know, it's a shame. But it's kind of hard to you can't force a baby to move like if if it doesn't want to move it don't want to move and I just said look is it very comfortable is it happy where it is because it wouldn't move and I started getting a little worried but everything's okay touch wood everything's okay now I've got to wait till my 20 week scan and I don't know what to do with myself I've literally been having scans nearly every three weeks and now I've got to wait six weeks. What am I gonna do? Where I can't. I want to see my baby. Like I want to see my baby every flipping day. Oh, it's so weird. But anyway, the lady, the sonographer said, okay, we can't do the nuchal translucency test where they measure everything. So what we're gonna offer you is something called the quads test. Basically, there's no scan involved. It's just a blood test. Um. It still picks up syndromes and abnormalities, but not as accurate. And I was like, you know what? If that's my option, that's what I've got to do. I'm just spraying this because it's a little beauty blender. If that's what my options are, then that's what my options are. So yeah, that's pregnancy update. Something else I found out and I got really the thing is with like obviously I always take Liam with me but I'm pregnant I've got hormones raging like all over the place and I didn't cry at the fact of this news I cried because I was overwhelmed with it all so basically when I went to the little appointment desk to make my scan and appointment and stuff if I found out the lady said to me that my blood type is rhesus negative and I was like I've heard of that and I've heard that's a rare one and she was like looking at me and she was like don't worry we're gonna do injections we're gonna do this we're gonna do that we're gonna keep an eye on you it's not a problem then she was like you're going for your 20 week scan you're gonna have to have an anti-d injection you've got to go for another scan you've got to go for your quads test and she was just looking at me whilst telling me all this and I wasn't upset at all, like finding out I've got Reese's negative blood group I was just overwhelmed with it all because it was like appointment after appointment injection and then oh my god and obviously the baby didn't cooperate and I was already a little bit you know on edge so oh my god what a day anyway <laughs> Liam was like, why are you upset? And they gave me a booklet about the rhesus negative and about this injection that I have to have. And trust me, I go and read the problem side. I didn't read the actual information about it. And I just burst out crying and I was just like, why do I have to be so complicated? Just why? Another thing I found out was my placenta is posterior. Um, and again, I started bursting out crying. I was like, why can't I just be normal? But I've read into it. I've asked questions. I've spoke to my midwife and they've said that that's normal. I just got overwhelmed and I'm out of breath. I just got overwhelmed with it all. And I was just like, this is scary. Like, this is my first pregnancy. This is, this is scary because not only have I got to worry about my condition, affecting my pregnancy I've got to make sure my health is okay to make sure the baby's health is okay so I can't stress and I can't cry and I, oh my god but anyway I'm okay you know I'm okay I've got so much support around me you guys have been so supportive I've got friends and bloggers that I speak to that have had pregnancies and had children because I don't have any siblings I don't have a brother or sister so no one has really had a baby for me to talk to other than my mum um, and she's just like <laughs> well Melissa your pregnant my pregnancy with you was very complicated so I have to have something called an anti-d injection which basically 
Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not all for injections, like who is? But at the end of the day, if it keeps my baby safe and me safe, then of course I'm going to do it. So I've got to have that. Also, my mum suffered with. Oh, by the way, if you have had the NED injection, <laughs> excuse me, heartburn. Here we go. <laughs> If you have had the anti D injection, please let me know um, down below. Like, if you have had this, if you've got rhesus negative and you've had children or you've had this injection, because I just want to, I just want as much information as possible. Um, but yeah, I also had to tell my midwife that my mum had preeclampsia with me. Um, she had it really bad, like her feet were swelling, her she had really high blood pressure, and I nearly got. Well, my mum and me pretty much wouldn't have made it unless the hospital had done certain things. So, I had to tell my midwife because I will get affected by it most probably, like most definitely. So, I've been put on aspirin, which isn't advisable in pregnancy. Because when I went to the chemist, they wouldn't give it to me. They said, no you're pregnant, we are not giving you aspirin. And I was like, oh my God, this is just so overwhelming. Like, what is going on? But anyway, I spoke to my midwife and she sorted it out and she got me some. We eventually got some properly. Um, so yeah, I'm on that. And that basically thins the blood out or something. So that's, that's kind of what's been going on, which is why I've been quiet because I've just been so overwhelmed with it all. Like, it's just, it's just scan after scan after you know, appointment after, do you know what I mean? Blood tests, etc. So, my thyroid levels have been tested. Everything's good, everything's okay. They have increased my dose just to make sure that the baby gets enough thyroid. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting all this information right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing I just want to mention, obviously you guys asked me about my symptoms. I'm 14 weeks, my sickness has not gone. I'm still nauseous throughout the day, but I'm a lot better. Like I can get through the day. As long as I eat frequently, drink a lot of water, I can get through the day. Um, I tend to be throwing up in the evenings now, very late at night. But when I was in the first trimester, I was unable to eat a proper meal, like I was having cereal and toast. I'm sure you guys will understand if you've been through it, because you just keep chucking up and you just can't stomach anything. Um, and I was so used to having toast and cereal that when I've hit the second trimester, I started throwing up a bit more and I was like, wait, why? Like, you're supposed to stop now. And it turns out it's because I wasn't eating enough because I'm so used to eating toast. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting, I'm, I'm doing it gradually but I'm starting to eat proper meals now and I'm finding that I'm not sick and if I go to bed before 10 o'clock I'm not sick <laughs> oh my god I just can't wait to feel normal but yeah um, things are getting better like I'm definitely feeling better in myself you can probably tell my energy's back um, hair's still a mess you know but it's not easy it's not easy being pregnant and especially with this condition of mine but anyway that's basically the symptom. Another symptom that started is heartburn. And my my God, when you guys have told me in the past, like on comments, <laughs> that heartburn is a sod. Wow. It has been, I feel like a breathing dragon. Like I feel like a fire breathing dragon. It's, it's horrible. But the worst symptom, and I have to go to the doctors about this tomorrow actually, the worst symptom that has started, it was kind of with me, and then it got better, and then now it's flipping horrible. Basically, you guys might know if you've been through it, or it may be something that I need to get checked out, I don't know. But basically, my left leg, when I'm sat down, my left leg feels like it's dislocating out of my hip. Like, my hip feels like it's dislocating. So, Liam has ha literally been having to lift me off the sofa. <laughs> oh, my God. I sound like an old woman. Like, I'm not doing this pregnancy very well, am I? But, yeah, that's basically it. Like, I've got this weird dislocation in my hip. And, oh, my God. Anyway, pregnancy, move across. 
Next thing I want to update you guys, let's talk about the concealer first. So the concealer that I'm trying, I, I used it like years ago, but I really want to try it again because I feel like I didn't try it properly. So this is the Clinique All About Eyes Concealer. Um, and this one is in the shade Light Neutral. And I am, I've heard good things about this, so I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm going to use a brush to apply it because it's a squeezy one which I prefer wands you know me like I always use wands but let's try oh maybe a bit too much whoops oh it's a little I think it's gonna be a bit too dark for me oh okay and then another update for you guys which I'm so happy to tell you is I don't know if I've really spoken about this on my channel but I have spoken about it on my Instagram so if you follow my Instagram you're aware and if we're like close friends then you'll be aware but if you don't know already and if you do then that's great but if you don't know then I have a, a miniature dash hound and um, I'm so happy to be saying this and with like confidence that I've achieved this this is great but anyway basically the little monkey as much as I love her she's had serious separation anxiety for since since I got her since I got her um where she's literally not been able to stay on her own like if we go out she'd mess she'd bark she'd tear things up and she'd just cause issues um obviously this has been a really difficult time for me because obviously I love my baby I love my dog so much like you guys know she's in the vlogs and she's she's such a sweet dog that's the only issue is her separation anxiety I blame myself um, because I had her in this in the bed with me when we got her I had her in the bed with me because she's a dash and she likes to bury bury she likes to burrow under the blankets and I had her in the bed with me and I didn't think anything of it. I thought, okay, I see so many people with dogs that go in the bed with them and they're happy as Larry, but she got too close and she got way too attached. So, <laughs> this has changed. This Everything's changed. So basically, I then started dealing with, like I said, coming home to mess, um, tearing things up, barking for me and acting up when I pick the keys up and stuff like that. This has been going on, I would say, for around, well, she's two. She's two, so a year, pretty much, like, for ages. Um, and um, if you guys know, if I have, like, if you're aware and you see on my Instagram, it's been really bothering me because it's like, why can't I just have a dog that can come home to give it a toy and, it, and it's happy and I can take it out? We always take Nala out, she goes on two walks a day and she, we're in an apartment but she does go outside, like she goes out I would say around four or five times a day, which I feel is plenty with the exercise she gets inside as well because she's got loads of toys, she runs around after the cats and stuff and it's quite a big apartment so I thought it was okay. Anyway, we have spoke to numerous dog trainers about it and they've said look, this is something I can fix in a few hours I can come round pay me 200 pounds I can come round and I can fix this fine you just got to follow my instructions afterwards I said to Liam I basically put it to him I said look we're having a baby I cannot excuse me what's going on I cannot be coming home to mess and there's no way I have if I have a baby there's just no way as much as I love Nala the baby has to come first anyone would agree that so we had to have the decision if we can't sort this out then we have to give her to my mum or something um, and I would miss her and I feel like I would be taking that opportunity of my child meeting my dog because they will get on I just know they will but anyway I said to Liam well basically he kind of took reins of it because I'm pregnant and I, I was like <laughs> I was in bed being sick and stuff but anyway he was like look 
let's see what we can do. And I said to him, why don't we, why don't we try ourselves, like save money and try ourselves. He come across this YouTuber, this dog trainer on YouTube. And uh, I'm not blowing smoke up his backside, but he's good. He is good. He is so unusual to what you see everywhere else. Like, it's me or the dog, nothing like that. Um, Caesar, all of that, nothing like that. Like, he's so strict. And basically, everything's changed. We have her on a food schedule. So basically, well, the first thing, she does not sleep in the bed with me, which is all like, I'm finding it hard, but whatever, I'd rather that than come home to what I was coming home to. She does not sleep in the bed with me. She's now crate trained. She goes in her crate. She absolutely loves her crate. It's, I just feel like we've really turned a corner with her. And I can literally call her my angel now. She is so, so well behaved. Um, yeah, so basically all we've done is stop the laying in bed with us, stopped completely coming in the bedroom, um, stopped jumping up on the sofa, which I think in a few months I might introduce that again because I miss that, but we'll see, I don't want to ruin things. But yeah, she doesn't come up on the sofa, she has a food schedule, she eats, then she goes out, she eats, then she goes out, but I used to leave food for her down, like on her mat with her water all, sing all day every every single day I used to just leave it down and fill it up when, when needed and um, he was like how can you expect a dog to understand when it's toilet time it's pee pee time when there's food down all the time you need to get her into a schedule do you know what this concealer is actually really full coverage like I feel like I really need to blend it out but it's really good um yeah, so we were like, okay, let's do this. So we've done a food schedule. We take her out now six times a day. She goes out every single time after eating her food. Um, and it's worked. She sleeps in there on her own. She's happy, absolutely happy. We had a few nights where she was barking because it was obviously like, what's going on? I'm not coming in the bed with you anymore. You're leaving me, but it's worked. And now I can come home to a clean house it's amazing so yeah I'm really happy about that and um, something else that I want to mention basically obviously I feel like you guys have noticed that I've completely I haven't dropped off of my channel like I haven't dropped off YouTube but what I would say is I have been slacking pretty much obviously I haven't took this pregnancy very easy but that's no excuse, it's, this means the world to me and I kind of lost sight of that and I've been getting these packages like stuff that I've really been working towards like my goal was to work with Nivea and I work with Nivea like they sent me out their face mask and and stuff like that and I've done a few blog posts for them and I've been doing loads of blog work and I just thought to myself like what am I doing like last year I wanted this so bad I wanted to work with Nivea, I wanted to receive PR I wanted this like it's not about the numbers on your channel like it's not because even though I've only got like a thousand I'm still working with massive brands that I, I didn't last year you know so I kind of lost sight of what I came here to do so I really want to come back but I want to come back as how I was before where we just completely really get into deep like life updates where you see everything so I'm going to start taking you along to scans and I'm going to start really telling you guys like what's going on you know what this concealer is so blooming good i actually really love it look at that like it's so it's so good it needs quite a lot of blending like i was talking for ages and sorry about that but <laughs> i had a lot to tell you but this concealer is actually really good. Okay, let's show you what I got. So yeah, I hope I didn't bore you guys, but that's the two updates that I really wanted to share with you. Um, let's show you what I got. So I received this amazing package from Gerard Cosmetics. Oh, 
I've received this amazing package from Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I've been kind of with them, I would say, for like a few months. And I'm so happy, like, I'm still really overwhelmed when I receive stuff like this. And I've worked really hard for this, so that's why I don't want to lose sight of what I've come here to do. So, they sent me their GC Pride collection. Um, I actually chose the bits that come in here. I really wanted their mirror. I love it. I've always wanted a mirror from them. This is their Slay All Day Gerard Cosmetics mirror. Look how cute. So I can be like, so I can be like doing my makeup whilst we're showing the mirror off. <laughs> and then I flip and love that mirror. I need to put it somewhere safe. Then I also got their, I'm so excited to try these products out with you guys. I also got their Starlet palette. Well, actually, it's a Starlet palette, but it's the, I went for the Honeymoon palette. Basically, it's a bronze blush. I think it's two blushes. Yes, two blushes and a bronzer. So, this is the packaging. And when you open it, you have got your bronzer, this one, blusher, and another blusher. So, that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be using this. Um, What brush should I use? Okay, so I'm going to go in with this bronzer. Has it got a name? Forever. It's this one. How cute is this packaging? So I'm gonna go in with bronzer and see how see it matches my skin tone. I went for the honeymoon one so hopefully it matches very well. Oh that's beautiful. It's got kind of like a little shimmer to it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? I really love this. Really love it. Isn't it crazy how even though your hair can be up in such a mess, if you do your makeup, even just the simplest, it makes a difference. So I can get away with just putting a hat on today and running some errands. <laughs> because I'm not going to do my hair today. It's like as well, like it's it's great coming on YouTube with makeup on all the time and looking glamorous, but like, can we just be real? Like, who seriously puts makeup on every single day? Comment down below if you put makeup on every single day. Especially being a blogger, I'm at home all the time, so I don't put makeup on every day. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, especially since I've been pregnant. Um, I'm gonna use a little different I'm gonna use a pixie brush that I got sent by them a while ago it's the E02 and I'm just gonna do my nose oh my gosh I bloody love this bronzer can we just like wow it's such a pretty colour as well I love it I'm so happy with that. So I'm going to go in with a blusher. I'm definitely going to go in with that pink one. It's called First Class. Okay. I'm going to go in with that blusher. I feel like I've been wearing a lot of blush like when I've been doing my makeup. And it does make a difference. I love to wear blusher in the summer. You know what? I've got my window open. My camera on full display and my ring light. Am I mad? People are going to be like, what is she doing? Wow, that is pigmented, but it's so pretty. I may have put a little bit too much on, but it's all good. We'll just use the stippling brush. Wow. I'm really happy with that palette. And you know what? It brings a mirror as well, which is just... That's just perfect. I love it. So this one is the Honeymoon palette. If you want to get 30% off any of these products that I'm showing you, this is not sponsored, but if you want to get 30% off, then use my code MELISSA30. I'll put it on the screen so you don't forget. Next, I'm going to be trying... I went for this colour, and I hope I like it. It's kind of light. The Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder. I went for the colour Grace, but it looks very light. I don't know how I'm going to... This is the packaging. Ooh, it's really pretty. Like, it's very pretty. Look at that. 
but look how pale that look how light that is look at that look how light that is like am i gonna be am i gonna like that that's the question mm. i don't even know i'm gonna use this i'm gonna just grab some setting spray a little tip if you want to glow with highlight spray your highlighting brush pick some product up and then spray it again and it will glow okay i hope i like this because it's very very light is that the side i want on ah uh, oh yeah I love it can you guys I don't know if you can see that very well but that is the a really golden subtle glow that just looks bloody amazing look at the difference from using when you spray your brush hair is sticking to it wow that is so nice do you know what i really just missed doing my makeup with you but not like makeup videos i really miss vlogging and i'm gonna basically call this a vlog that's actually so lovely i love it i'm happy with that so this one is grace if you want to get it Okay, what else did I pick for my little PR package? Oh yeah, so these two products, this one is the All Day Setting Spray and this is Slay All Day. And this one is a lipstick. I'm super excited to try the lipstick. This one is called Between the Sheets. Oh, fancy. Look at the packaging. How pretty is that? So yeah, this one's called Between the Sheets. I went for a very, very nude colour because like, I love, I love nude lips. Let's. It's kind of got like a bit of um, an orange, a brownie orange tint to it. Okay, I haven't done a lip liner, so... You can't really see, because it's not very pigmented. I feel like it's because I've got lip gloss on. Um, lip balm. It's very subtle, but I like it. I do like it. Okay, and then the last product I want to show you guys is... Who's hanging in me? my mom hi oh okay she always rings me when I'm filming this is the slay all day setting spray and I went for the jasmine so basically I have got the in the other PR package that I got before I got the watermelon one this is a bigger one I went for the bigger ones before um, and I don't know what the other one is but it's actually gone all funny I left it out in the Sun and it's lost its colour. It still smells, so I suppose it's okay, but it's lost its colour. The only thing I'm going to say about these setting sprays is basically <laughs> they're very strong. When you spray them on your face, very, very strong. And it can be very overwhelming to make sure your mouth's closed. This is the little mini one I went for, and this one is jasmine. I don't know. I've never smelt jasmine, so. I'm all about the rose one at the moment, so we shall see if I like this one. Okay, make sure you hold it really far away as well because it's very strong, this product. Wow, that is strong. That's actually got a really weird smell. Like, I can't... I don't know how I feel about it. Mm, I don't know. But you know what? It dries really quickly, which is what we want. I'm not going to do anything with the eyes. But the last product I want to show you, because I used it before I started filming, silly, I know, um, is 
I actually I actually picked for the package the brow bar to go because I wanted to try something new for my brows because I have been using the Benefit Cosmetics precisely my brow for months and months and months and I was like I need to try something new like, I just want to try something new I've been using that one for a long long time and I love this this is actually so good I've got it on now and it's really good because you get like a lighter colour a darker colour and then you get a wax to kind of set it in place so love it anyway so that's the updates for you guys um hope you enjoyed <laughs> Comment any questions down below because I will be doing a Q&A on pregnancy and stuff like that at some point. Um, but I'm not going to be like every single week update you with the pregnancy. It's probably like the next update will be the 20 week. Just because nothing really changes like from now from like 10 weeks nothing's changed except from when the sickness is going. But yeah I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little update. I feel like I, li I done a little poll on Instagram and I said to you guys what do you want to see? Do you want to see makeup videos? Do you want to see little life updates? Just real, real chatting with you. And you chose life updates. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, I shall see you in... I'm going to go and take some Gabascon. Great. Please follow me over on Instagram because then I can really update you on stuff and you'll understand why it all... Like what goes on in the videos because it all tie in together. Twitter is all this is the same as my Instagram and my Snapchat, so it's Melissa Jane. I'll put it across. So just add that on every social media and you'll find me. But yeah, I shall see you in another video, guys. Bye.